Hi everybody, this first question is about income elasticity of demand. It says here, so this table is showing gross weekly earnings. So gross weekly earnings, this is the same thing as income. And then it's showing new car registrations each year, so annually between 2011 and 2013. So this is essentially the demand for cars. So we've got income and we have demand. And this one here is the earnings, the income, and this one is showing the demand in millions. And you need to calculate the income elasticity of demand. For new cars between those two years, check here, it is 2011 and 2013. So it's going from the beginning to the end. It might have been two different years. And it says you're advised to show your working. You need to show your workings in case you make a mistake. So even if you think you're really good at doing the calculations, make sure that you write down your workings as you go in case you make a mistake. This is the formula that you need to learn for income elasticity of demand. Remember, it's always demand or supply on the top line. And to be able to do this, you need to know how to work out a percentage change because it's the percentage change in quantity demanded over the percentage change in income. And to do a percentage change, it's the change divided by the original figure times 100. So the top line is to do with the quantity demanded. So you need to do 2.26, the new number, minus the old number, 1.94, divided by the original number, 1.94, times 100. And that's your top line. The bottom line is the income, which should be 517.5, take away 500.7, divided by the original 500.7 times 100. And when you work out the top line from this, you'll get 16.49. The bottom line will work out as 3.36 and when you work that out it's 4.91. Remember to do it to two decimal places as well and it's not a percentage.